Um, but there is Sancho. I open this book, and there's this picture of this man. It's in black and white, but I eventually do see the colour print to it. Oh, my God. Right? I mean, it's an extraordinary portrait. Just Google the Ignatius Sancho image. It's an extraordinary portrait. It's amazing. And I'm like, who's this guy? And then his story is just like, ah, uh, he's even more extraordinary than you'd imagine, born, as we said, on a slave ship and everything else that happened to him. So that, to me, was the most important thing about him, is that he shocked me into rebooting my, I would even call it memory, even though I wasn't born in the 18th century, memory of what British history looked like. Mm. Here I am in 1999 looking for a character that I could legitimate to go, look, he was real, this person was real, now I can play him and get someone else to write it because I didn't have the confidence of a writer. And I opened a book called Black England by Gretchen Gertziner and inside there was some mind-blowing stories. Mm -hmm. So she was introduced to me and my life changed forever. She hardly spoke, so I could not perform my usual trick of guessing a person's life story largely from their accent. Her simple, pleased to make your acquaintance, Charles. I have heard much from my father of your exploits. Was the first thing I can recall her uttering that night. She spoke exploits with a sense of mischief that I found challenging, alluring, and intriguing. <laughs> so, so this is a, a story of survival too. So we should go, we have to go through it to see it. But yeah, it's important that, to know that there's light as well as the shade. Mm -hmm.